We are hosting the 22nd European Congress of Herpetology here in the spectacular Springfield campus of the University of Wolverhampton in the United Kingdom. We have delegates from 26 different nationalities across four continents. We have uh, 18 different sponsors from uh, across Europe. A lot of them are publishers, organizations, local NGOs. It's an extremely important conference, not just for showcasing research, showcasing your creativity, but it's also very important for students to network with professionals within the field of herpetology to get that exposure and help with their careers in the long term. It's kind of nerve-wracking being able to meet all these big names in herpetology and even get to know people that are big names that I've never heard of before and see how I could progress my career through research or just different organizations is really fun. Herpetology actually includes two very different groups of organisms, reptiles and amphibians. These are often the prey of other species or they are the predators. Frogs are marvellous biological controls because they can be affected by both air and water pollution, so they're indicators of trouble in the environment, and the study of populations in decline will tell us what is happening to the earth and when things are going wrong. And it's only through sharing knowledge like this and learning from it that we can attempt to put conservation measures in place to save species from extinction. We are very lucky to have a great representation of women herpetologists showcasing their work. This is a great opportunity to diversify the field of herpetology and getting women involved in this field as well.